hello good morning students uh, in the last lecture we had started our new topic that is nothing but the uh, non conventional machining processes unit so uh, we had discussed uh, what is the need of uh, these non conventional energy uh, non conventional methods isn't it uh, so today we will start uh, or from this lecture onwards we will start the different non conventional uh, manufacturing processes so very first uh, we are going to discuss is edm process so for that uh, let me share you one video so that you will be able to understand that process uh, clearly charge machining process which is also deeply known as edm process so guys in this video we will uh, see the basic principle that is the basic principle behind the edm process the what kind of the equipments which is used in this edm process we will also check out the working of the edm process we will also check out the advantages and disadvantages of edm so guys before uh, going to our topic uh, i request to all of you to please subscribe to my channel in himai which is an educational channel and i do post videos regularly so also guys please hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of my uh, major updates so let's begin with the today's topic so guys edm is a non conventional process which uses the electric spark to remove the metal from the workpiece so the metal is um, metal is removed from the workpiece by the means of this electric spark so this electric spark is used as cutting tool to cut the workpiece and to produce a desired shape so guys this is the actual representation we can call it as a line diagram of this uh, edm process this process is done by applying the high frequency current through the electrode and workpiece basically current is supplied by the power supply basically in this case the spark removes the metal in a form of very small chips we can call it as a microchips this process is done in dielectric fluid both tool and uh, workpiece is immersed in the dielectric fluid so let's check out the working principle of the edm so guys edm works on the basic principle of the spark generation that is the metal is removed by the spark erosion the spark generation generated by this process produces the heat and this heat ultimately uh, removes the metal by erosion and evaporation on the surface of the workpiece so guys this is another one that is the representation of this particular process so guys the tool and the workpiece should be conductive in this case in this and this whole process is takes place in the dielectric fluid so guys let's check out the what kind of the equipments which is used in this edm process so guys as we can see in this image the first one is the power supply the high frequency current is supplied by the power supply basically which is very important factor next one is the dielectric fluid so basically this fluid acts as a vehicle to drive away the microchips which gets formed in this process so guys uh, this dielectric fluid prevents uh, those small chips from sticking to the surface of the workpiece and it also acts as a coolant basically the next uh, important equipment is a tool or we can also call it as a tool holding device basically so guys basically tool is very important factor over here and the tool also erodes as the uh, workpiece workpiece erodes due to that spark basically so guys the selection of the tool is very important over here which is done on the basis of the phase wear ratio to fabrication and the cost of the material basically the main materials are the copper tungsten alloy steel cast iron and stainless steel or 
color of graphite basically. The next equipment which is used over here is the workpiece or you can call it as the work holding device. So guys over here in this case the work in this process the workpiece needs to be a good conductor, good conductor of electricity. If it is a good conductor of electricity then only it can be machine. And it does not depend upon the hardness of the workpiece. Basically, the hardness can be anything. It can be very high or very low. We can machine both. The next thing is the working process of the medium. So this is three. This one is a 3D image, guys. So the tool and the workpiece are both are immersed uh, in this dielectric fluid. Both are submerged in a dielectric fluid, and this whole process carried out in this fluid itself. A servo mechanism is used, which maintains a very small gap. Between the workpiece and the tool. So, this gap is very desired for proper arc formation and it is about the thickness of the human hair. It is very small, guys. The high frequency current is supplied to the electrode, okay, which produces the spark between the tool and the workpiece. So, guys, this spark generates the high in work cavity, generates the heat, and the metal gets removed from the workpiece due to the erosion and Evaporation. Basically. So, guys, we have seen this uh, also working. Let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages. So, guys, every conductive material can be cut by medium. It is independent of the material workpiece hardness. Hence, the hardened workpiece can also be machined very easily in this medium process. So, we can cut complex dissections, we can uh, do complex shapes can be easily machined and we can be having high accuracy. Basically, this process is a blur free. Basically, there is a very small amount of chip formation. This section can be easily machined. Thin sections can be easily machined without deforming the part. So that was the advantages in disadvantages. The machine process had high tool wear of course due to the spark. The tool wear limits the accuracy and surface finish of the metal, basically. Only a good conductor of the electric electricity can be machined by the EDM, basically. So guys, in this video we have seen, uh, we have learned all about the EDM process. We have seen the working principle, the process, the advantages and disadvantages. So guys, if you like my video, please give like, please give comment if you have any. So that was what about EDM process. Uh, so. Uh, you might have understood the, what exactly the EDM is. Uh, in another video, it is quite explained in a better fashion. So let me show you uh, that video too, so that you will be able to understand uh, this EDM thoroughly. Okay. So I am sharing it again. This is a 
pipeline goes towards the pump and this is the filter so it is generally used to remove the debris that are remaining in the field and supply the filter the electric to the tank and to the electrode and this is the flushing nozzle this is the graphite or copper electrode and normally can be charged to hand cathode metal with high melting point and good electric conductivity are usually chosen as cool material for EDM so generally graphite is most common electrode material since it has fair wear characteristics and is easily maintained of hand small block hole can be drilled into graphite electrode and copper uh, has medium wear and better conductivity and copper graphite is good for high finishing grades as well as low electrode wear it has bad electrical conductivity than graphite while the corner wear is higher so these are some specifications for choosing the electrode for medium so from here the electric is supplied to the electrode From the filter, and this is the feed. Generally, two-feed servo control unit. It is a feed is provided from the servo control unit, which maintains a constant machining gap that ensures the occurrence of the active discharge between two electrodes. And this is the DC first pulse generator. The power supply is responsible for supplying the pulses at a certain voltage, current, on time, off time, and a series of voltage pulses of magnitude about 20 to 120 volts and frequency on the order of 5 kilowatts is applied between two electrodes, which are separated by a small gap. Generally, there is a small gap between. Uh, this electrode and this voltage that is approximate 0.01 to 0.5 mm and when using this dc pulse generator the voltage pulses are responsible for the material removal and metal removal takes place as a result of generation of extremely high temperature that generated as by high intensity discharges that melt and evaporate to electrode Here we can see these are the sparks that are generated with the help of DC pulse uh, generator. These are the sparks, and this is the dielectric fluid that is coming out to pump and then follows the filter and to the flushing nozzle. And flushing of the dielectric. is the dielectric fluid uh, and flushing of the dielectric that plays a major role in the in maintenance of stable machining and the achievement of low solvent and high surface quality and one thing is important here in adequate flushing of the dielectric in arcing that decrease the electrode life and increase the production time so here this is the tool This is the work piece, and this is the spark. And the material removal rate in EDM metal is removed from both. So here, metal is removed from both work piece and tool electrode. And MMR material removal rate depends not only the work piece material, but on the material of tool electrode and machining variables such as pulse conditions. Electrode polarity and uh, the machining medium. So, in this regard, a material of low melting point has a high metal removal rate and hence a drop surface. So, here are some applications of electric discharge machining: medium drilling, medium sawing, machining of dies and gold, and machining of steel and wire medium. So, again, I want to speed to the process. This is the work piece. This is the tool electrode, and this is the DC pulse generator that produces the voltage. And after producing the pulses, so there is a spark generation is here. And this is here in the below. This one is the grinder. And this is passing over the running 
by the dielectric through and it is moving towards the pump and then through the filter and after moving and debris through the dielectric it again going through the passing loop and through the tank. This is the process that we have discussed today in EDM. And if you have any query, so you can ask by commenting. Try to get So that's it for this particular lecture. Uh, we will continue the topic uh, in the next lecture. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. All the best.